Hey, what's up, guys? It's Picard Tech here, back for another much needed video. And today's video is going to be on how to fix your brick iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch with a few simple steps. So, um, before I get started, I want to explain a few things to you guys. Alright, if you have an iPhone and you're planning um, to unlock it, and you don't have an AT&T SIM card, I recommend buying a blank AT&T SIM card, just a normal blank one, not under contract, from Amazon. I'll have links in the description below um, for a normal SIM card for the iPhone 2G, um, iPhone 3G, and iPhone 3GS, and a micro SIM for the iPhone 4. I'll, I'll have links in the description to Amazon where you can purchase blank ones, um, so you can activate your phone after you un unbrick it. So, um, yeah. You want to make sure your device is plugged in, and um, this is how to uh, unbrick your um, device. So you're probably not going to be on a screen like this. It's probably going to be on like a connect to iTunes screen. But um, to the same steps follow. You just want to hold the home and power button for 10 seconds. Release it, the power button after 10 seconds. Keep holding the home, and until um, iTunes pops up and it says your iPhone, or iPad, or iPod Touch is in recovery mode. All right, so let's do that now. So we're going to hold both of them in for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So as you can see here, it says connect to iTunes. You might have had the screen before, but don't worry. It's normal. And then, um, on iTunes should pop up, and it should say, iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. Alright, so it's pretty simple from here. You just want to click OK, and just click Restore. And if you're not on the latest firmware, it's going to say Restore and Update. Just click Restore and Update, but if you're on the, on the latest firmware, it won't say this. So don't worry, just click Restore and Update. Alright, and then it should extract the software and everything, and yeah. So, I'll be back when this is all done. Hey, what's up guys? So, after it's done restoring, it should come up something like this. And on, you'll see on iTunes that it says, uh, Set up, iPhone has previously synced with this computer. Set up as a new phone or restore from backup. So, I'm just going to set up as a new phone and click continue. Alright. And then I'm going to uncheck automatically sync and just hit done. So as you guys can see, my iPhone is activated. And I'm just going to slide to cancel here really quick. So, whoops. Alright. This is the Smiths and there you go. That's how you fix, um, that's how you basically unbrick your iPhone, iPad, or um, iPod Touch. Easy. So if you got, if this has helped you or you're interested in more videos like this, please subscribe and favorite this video down there. Click the favorite button and the like button, the thumbs up, and that really helps me out there. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and this is Bacar Tech saying peace.